So I had a question recently from one of you that was asking about uh, hand-eye coordination drills that you could do using a reaction ball, which is this. So I'm going to show you three of my favorite ones that will uh, take you from, oh, that's challenging, to, hmm, I'm frustrated, to probably the verge of completely freaking out because you're so frustrated. Sounds like fun. This is Maria from GoalieTrainingPro.com. Let me show you how we can use the reaction ball to make you a puddle of frustration. So the basic drill we typically start with with the reaction ball is just a reaction ball pyramid. Always want athletes to remember to stay nice and low in an athletic position. So not to be here after the ball, but to get low in the legs. So basically we'll just watch as this, I'll drop the ball. You'll see how it'll bounce in a random fashion. Okay, so sometimes, sometimes it'll just take take off like that. Sometimes it gives a bounce once or twice. I actually had an athlete accuse me of making it bounce straight for one athlete and then whenever he, he got it I made it bounce crazy. But it's impossible. It just does whatever it wants. But basically you'll drop it for yourself and then try to grab it after the first bounce. And then the next one you would do, you would try to grab it after the second bounce. Okay, and then you would keep going. So try to get it after three. Try to get it after four. So it's going to get harder and harder as you go along. Wherever you fail. So say I caught it at three, but then I couldn't catch it at four. Then I come back down the pyramid. So I would, three was the best I did. So now I would try to catch it after two and catch it after one. So if you get all the way up to five, and then you would go four, three, two, one, back down again. So that's the pyramid. The next one that we do, and I really like it because um, the ball is coming at you on a horizontal plane the way it would on the ice. It's just the ball off the wall. So again, sometimes that wasn't bad, but sometimes it'll fly right off to the side. If that happens, then I want you to shuffle after it and get to it and get the ball. So don't just be like, oh, that was way out there. I'm not going to chase it down. You can decide when you're starting, you might want to do a two hand grab. Once you get a little better, then you might want to make it a, a single hand grab. So if it goes to your right side, you grab with your right hand. If it goes to your left side, you grab with your left hand. And then the last one that can be really challenging, but again, I like it because you really have no idea at all. It's like a, a shot coming out of nowhere. Is if you stand um, you know, 10 to 20 feet from the wall, the closer you are, the harder it's going to be in the sense that the ball is going to come off the wall faster. Um, I hate to say easier it will be in the sense that the further back you are, you know, the ball can bounce. And every time the ball bounces, it has an opportunity to go somewhere completely different. But if you stand here and then have a partner standing about 10 feet behind you, and then the partner throws the ball into the wall. So that might come off this side. It might come off this side. It might be very low. You really don't know. So that's another way that we can use a reaction ball. It requires a partner, but you don't have to be a good, you know, precision thrower. You just need to hit, hit a wall, which most of us can do. So there are a few different ways you can use the reaction ball. Um, it's a great tool. Actually, a lot of sports stores carry them now. Um, it actually started, I think, as a dog toy. So if you can't find it at a sports store, try the local pet store um, and see if you can pick one up. This is Maria from GoalieTrainingPro.com, where my mission is to help 10,000 players win more games with fewer injuries, even if you don't have the genetic gifts or the natural ability of your competitors. If you like this video, feel free to, to give us a like, leave a comment, or share it with another goalie who needs a little work on their hand-eye coordination.